Every so often, you know that I teach what I consider to be a master's level of spirituality. And this is one of those master teachings. It is to let go of secondary thought. Most of us think secondary thoughts. We don't think for ourselves. We think what we've been told to think. And it's a very subtle thing. We don't even realize it, but we tend to think what others have told us. I can remember in seminars where I've had people say, well, I'm doing this in my career, but I, I hate it. Never wanted to do it, but mama wanted me to do it. And, and there was this man, and he said, Mama's been gone now for 30 years, and yet here I am, stuck. And he realized that he hadn't started to live his own life yet because he was still living secondary thought. Now here's something that is very brave to do. It is to pray for original thought, and beware when you do this, it might shock you. Because in a subtle way, over time, you'll begin to get new ideas, new concepts. And when I talk about original thought, I'm not talking about you as a human brain closed in on itself, just thinking on your own and not allowing any other thought to come in. I'm talking about the original thought of God the original creator coming through you and allowing this original thought to take place instead of fighting secondary thought. That's what we'll do at first. We'll say, no, 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 God, that's not right. Here, here's the way it is. <laughs> and uh, I guarantee you, you'll lose every time. Often when we're in constant contact with other people, we tend to mirror those people's thoughts and even actions. It can be true, though, in a higher way, with our constant association with the Christ. The Christ presence becomes our health, and we mirror that. The Christ presence becomes our, our wisdom, the Christ presence becomes our wealth. The Christ presence becomes our happiness. We can know true joy and freedom from concern when we immerse ourselves in the original thought of God and stop thinking secondary human thought, especially of others that they've given you. And remember, I had a puppy one time and an older dog. And the older dog would teach the puppy how to act. And the puppy just looked on. And even the bad traits were taken on by the puppy. Well, we do the same in life. Pray for original thought. Pray to give up secondary thought. Acknowledge the presence of of the inner Christ at all times in your thoughts. Accept the love of Christ and reflect it into every situation that you may encounter. You will find that you have a new peace and a new joy, a higher way of living, and you become a whole new person in Christ. You are literally created new. You are, of course, your thoughts. It's what you think all day long and all night long. Well, imagine, imagine if you had a new thought stream inside of you, not confined to what others have said about you or what they have taught you or thinking the thoughts of just others. Now you're an individual. You are thinking your own thoughts. You are 
standing up in your spirituality and realizing you can become more. It says in John this, The one who believes in me will also do the works that I do. Believes in me. Thinks in me. Reacts in thought. In my presence. I pray this for you in Jesus' name. Amen.